All right, so check this out. Almost a year ago to the date, I made a video comparing backpacks to messenger bags, and I listed out some of my pros and cons. In that video, I also mentioned how I prefer the messenger bag over the backpack. Also, notably in that video, I left out briefcases. So today, I wanna give the briefcase some love and put it up head to head with the messenger bag. Guys, stick around because it's all coming right up. All right, welcome to my channel, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. Now, I do realize all of this is personal preference, but for me and what I carry and what I use a bag for, these are my two favorite options. Of course, that being the briefcase and the messenger bag. It's also worth noting that I'm not a fan of the hard-sided briefcases, so today I'm gonna to be showing you and talking about soft-sided leather briefcases and also messenger bags. All right, really quick though, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm John and I'm the founder of 40overfashion.com. I've been helping men look better, feel better, and have more confidence since 2014. So if you feel like you can get on board with men's lifestyle topics for grownups, please consider subscribing because the entire reason this channel exists is to prove that it's never too late and you're never too old to make a change in your life or start something new. Now, personally, I own messenger bags as well as briefcases because at least for me, each one serves a slightly different purpose. But in terms of style, the messenger bag traditionally is gonna be a little more style forward and fashionable. While briefcases were mainly designed for a singular purpose of just kind of transporting your paperwork and your laptop to and from work. Traditionally, if you wanted something more formal for an office setting, you went with a structured hard-sided briefcase. But fast forward a couple years, the laptop is now in everyone's bag, the briefcase started being made less boxy with less structure, and with softer leather materials, which started being preferred by more and more men. So all the bags I'm gonna be showing in this video are all from Mahi Leather, and they're also the sponsor of this video. Personally, I love every bag I have from Mahi Leather, and as always, Mahis are handmade to order with premium leather, solid brass fittings, and YKK zippers and they now offer a one-year warranty as standard on all orders. Because they make everything to order and ship direct, their bags are significantly less expensive than the other competitors that have to include price markups for storage and retail space. Mahi also donates a portion of all of their sales to go to clean water charities in India. They also inspect all of their tanneries and workshops to ensure impeccable working conditions, as well as an eco-responsible approach to leather preparation. A lot of people right now are taking advantage of their bulk discounts and gift sets to do their Christmas shopping all in one go, which like I just talked about in another video earlier this week, that saves you time and money. Mahi is offering this audience three different ways you can save. First, you can get 10% off your order by using the code 40fashion11 at checkout. Next, and only for a limited time, they're offering a 20% discount for customers that order four items or more. Use code MAHI20 at checkout to get that great deal. Keep in mind though, that code, that 20% code, will expire in one week on November 26th at midnight Eastern time. Lastly, Mahi Leather is running a monthly giveaway. They're giving away a Mahi bag of the winner's choice every month in a monthly raffle. Just go to mahileather.com slash win to enter to win. Another thing to think about when you're considering a messenger bag or a briefcase is what you're using it for and what you'll be carrying. Now, since I'm assuming most of the time you'll be carrying around things like a laptop and other expensive items like your cell phone or portable hard drives, it's a good idea to get a bag that has a great design to help prevent all those things from getting damaged. And chances are you're also carrying smaller items like your wallet, your car keys, Bluetooth earbuds, and your cell phone, along with whatever else you might need for that day. Make sure your briefcase or messenger bag has different compartments to keep all that small stuff together, just really to make sure that it doesn't all collect at the bottom of your bag so you don't have to dig for everything. But not only that, Having organization inside your bag prevents all the small things from banging into each other and getting all scratched up. So for me personally, I do like the idea of a briefcase. I like the slim, minimal design and the fact that everything stays fairly tight inside so nothing really has a chance to bang around and get damaged, right? But yes, you can go out and spend a thousand bucks on a really nice traditional hard side briefcase or attache case. I'm just not a fan of those, right? They might open up nice and wide, which is nice, 
I just don't like the idea of carrying around what's essentially a box where everything inside has the opportunity to flop around and bang into each other, especially if you're only carrying it at like half its capacity. Also, since this is primarily a style channel, I just think soft side briefcases and leather messenger bags just look a lot better, especially with the shoulder strap. And speaking of shoulder straps, here's a tip. If you're using a messenger bag or a briefcase with a shoulder strap, make sure the strap is long enough so the bag sits kind of at or just below your hip. Now, if it's too high up on your body, it starts looking like a purse, and I don't really think you want that. Also, if security is an issue, you can go crossbody and still have it at a pretty good height. Okay, so what's better, the briefcase or the messenger bag? It's really not as clear cut as that, right? Because it mainly boils down to what you carry and what you prefer. Now, I'm a fan of the messenger bag mainly because of its sort of universal carry-all design, but the briefcase it definitely has its place, especially if you're mainly carrying slim items like laptop or paperwork or a notebook. So if that suits your lifestyle better, definitely go with a nice briefcase like this. Otherwise, if you carry more irregular shaped items on occasion, having a good universal messenger bag just might be ideal for you. Now, because there's really no clear winner here, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a draw because both of these bags can be great for very similar purposes. It just comes down to your preference and what you're carrying. The good news is you have choices. All right, guys, it was great hanging out with you for the last few minutes. And if you wanna grab my free style guide, I'm gonna put the link for the instant download right down below in the description. And if you're a subscriber, that means I'll see you in just a few days for another brand new video. But until then, my friend, live well, and I do hope to see you again very soon.